Andrew here. It's been a little while since I've done a video review, but uh, I couldn't wait to tell you about this uh, new device I'm using this morning, which is the Stride Foot Pod. I'll just show you a quick picture of it. I don't know if you can see it, it's that little black thing on my uh, trainer. It's a power meter for runners. Um, Stride's been around for a few years, I think, maybe two, um, and it originally came as a a chest strap monitor so it's something that sat on the back of your chest strap uh, which was potentially quite useful so I've just got some dogs over in the corner there um, Stride have removed I think they've realized a lot of people don't like wearing chest straps myself included and they've put it onto um, a foot pod been in some initial criticism about the fact that it's now just measuring one side but um, I suppose my simple response to that is if you want to measure the other side, change it over to your other foot. Whilst you can get some live data fed straight to watch, like Garmin watch I've got on here for example, um, which helps sort of monitor your performance as you're going along. What's far more interesting is the, uh, the wealth of information that you can download to something like the, well, the Stride Power Center or um, the Garmin Connect website uh, with some additional kind of add-in data as well so the sort of stuff that you can get from your stride power meters um, cadence ground contact time leg spring rate um, what else vertical oscillation that's a good one um, and then I'll show you some of this when I get back home anyway I'll, I'll do a, a kind of a, a bit further video with uh, some additional information just to show you the screens and stuff but all of that data helps you to analyze your running and your running style it made a really massive difference to me so far okay as promised I just thought I'd give you a quick uh, rundown of the kind of information that you can get from stride um, in combination with my uh, Garmin running watch but I'm sure you know you can synchronize it with your phone through Strava or any other series of um, running watches too so the sort of the sort of information that you get from Stride is incredibly comprehensive on stride.com in their power center um, this is a run that I did um, just earlier on the one that was on the video there um, and it shows sort of you know average pace average power and then a whole series of, of different metrics um, along the bottom I have to say I mean the, the kind of information that I'm getting in here I've not even had a chance to look through very much of, of it at all but it's hugely comprehensive and I'm sure for anybody that's at all geeky like me you'll probably spend a long time looking at this information um, and making some sense of it. I particularly like this bit actually here, this training optimizer, which shows from my current form, um, it shows the areas of weakness and the areas in which I need to maybe concentrate on a little bit more. Um, okay, so there's a lot of information there. Um, perhaps more interestingly for me, if I can just bring this along, is um, the way in which the data from Stride can be um, captured within Garmin Connect as well. Um, so for example, this is a run I did um, a couple of weeks ago, it was a 5k that I did, um, and uh, I hope you can see this on my screen here, which gives this sort of information, there's this power um, um, information, the IQ information, that is kind of an add-on to the Garmin Connect function, which is the stuff that's coming from Stride. Um, and uh, there's a lot of really interesting information coming through here. One of the things that I wanted to check out, though, um, I'll show you on this, is you can then analyse this data, for example, and do this with any of them, and overlay additional information on there as well so for instance if I want to look at ground contact time in conjunction with my pace um, then I can have a look at um, you know information specific now I, I, I do remember trying something quite specific at one point here 
And if you look at this point here, okay, my ground contact time has gone down. I changed the way in which I was running, so I was springing more, um, spending sort of more air time with a higher cadence and, and literally just sort of touching the ground very, very minimally. And what that's done, if you look at this bit here, is it's significantly increased my pace from that time. So I've gone from, say, say there, what, 442 minutes per kilometre to here. 3 minutes 9 seconds per kilometre. You can imagine over a 5k that would make a significant difference.